It's 547. Today, President Trump is expected to say that he will decertify the Iran nuclear deal that was made under former President Obama. He has called it, quote, the worst deal in American history. Today, he will explain why he doesn't like it. Representative Tulsi Gabbard says that the president's decision could kick off a nuclear arms race and increase the chances of nuclear war. She joins us now by phone to talk about this issue. Good morning to you. And wanted to ask you also, just how dangerous do you think this move could be by the president? Uh, Aloha, Stephen Grace. It's good to talk with you. Uh, this is such a critical issue because we're talking about nuclear weapons. Mm. This is no small matter. And the implications of what the president is talking about really could be catastrophic. Uh, there are two things to recognize about the Iran nuclear deal. Uh, I was critical of this uh, deal as it was going through the process because I had a lot of concerns about it and some of those concerns remain but the bottom line is that this deal has two objectives to stop Iran from developing nuclear weapons and to avert an all-out war with Iran so far all the intelligence sources our US military as well as the international inspections agency responsible to make sure that uh, Iran is complying have shown that Iran is in fact complying. There's been no evidence to show that they've broken their end of the deal, which means those two objectives have been achieved thus far. They don't have a nuclear weapon and we are not at war with Iran. So the implications of what President Trump is advocating for in pulling the United States out of this deal uh, has very dangerous consequences because it'll likely result in Iran restarting its nuclear weapons uh, that will spark a nuclear arms race in the region, causing countries like Saudi Arabia, uh, Qatar, the UAE, and others to acquire their own nuclear weapons, uh, creating a, a very dangerous, uh, even, even more dangerous conflict between these countries that, that is already going on. Uh, and importantly for Hawaii especially, it will directly undermine any chance of a peacefully negotiated resolution to the crisis we're facing with North Korea and its development of its own nuclear weapons. So the, the outcome and what's at stake with what the president's proposing um, is very, very dangerous. It's dangerous for us in Hawaii, dangerous for our country and, and for the world. Congresswoman, I read your piece on thehill.com, uh, but also you mentioned the possible threat. Now, if he does go through with this, then it's up to Congress and up to lawmakers. Is Congress committed to keeping this agreement intact? I guess the that's correct. You know, this is a two kind of pronged situation here. One is if the president does what he says he'll do, which is to decertify Iran. Uh, as long as Iran is complying with the deal, as all evidence shows that they are, then Congress should make sure that uh, sanctions are not reimposed. Uh, and that really is what uh, the, the ball is going to be going to be in Congress's court to either introduce legislation to reimpose sanctions or if no action is taken by Congress, then essentially the status quo continues. Uh, there are members of Congress that are split on this. Some believe that sanctions should be reimposed because they have concerns about Iran's actions in a host of other non-nuclear activities. I share some of those concerns. But the fact remains is those concerns should be addressed outside of the construct of this important nuclear agreement. We should uphold the agreement as long as Iran is complying. And we should address these issues separately, issues like Iran's continued development of ballistic missiles. Uh, this is something that Congress has taken action on and will continue to focus on. And there are other mechanisms to address those concerns without completely undermining the deal. So. The president's actions and what Congress does in the coming weeks is going to be critical um, to prevent these dangerous outcomes that I've just talked about. All right, some disturbing consequences for what could happen later today. Uh, Congresswoman Tulsi Gabbard, thank you for joining us today.